Four years ago, I started an insane experiment. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know my experiments are pretty crazy. However, this one may just top them all because I accidentally forgot about this experiment for four years. Let me explain. You see, everything started because I wanted to make a YouTube video about dry aging with butter. My goal was to find out if butter dry aging a filet mignon would make it better. And here's what we thought in the end. It's amazing, but they're the same. They're it's the same. absolutely incredible, but it is the same. So that was a surprising result. And it got me thinking, wait a second, since it did not do much, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze it and let it stay in my freezer for a year to see if anything will happen. And then I completely forgot about it, which bring us to today. This has been on my freezer for four years. And I mean, take a look at it. Even though I have a commercial grade vacuum sealer, you can clearly see that it got freezer burned. This is not looking good. Once I remove the plastic bag, now you can clearly see what's going on. Now here's the deal. If you want to have the best possible results, you must let it thaw out very slowly. So I went ahead, transferred to a tray and into the refrigerator, it went to thaw out nice and slow and it would take 48 hours. Now I had to have something to compare it with. So I went ahead and got a fresh filet mignon. And as you can see, this one looks pretty good. Nicely well marbled. At the same time, I'm going to be dry aging this one for a month. To do so is pretty straightforward. First, I laid down some parchment paper, spread out room temperature butter, added my filet mignon right on top, and made sure to cover the whole thing with butter. This is very similar to wet aging. And as you saw in the beginning, it did not make that much difference. However, after that video, I've learned that butter actually does something. It seems to improve the steak. So after covering the whole thing with it, into the refrigerator, it went to dry age for one month. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look. You can clearly see that we have some of the juices leaking out. This is completely normal, but I wanted to see what's in the inside. And as soon as I started removing the butter, you can see a good amount of oxidation. At the same time, I could smell a little bit of that funk, which by the way, we all crave. Once I was done removing all of the butter, this is what I was left with. A perfectly butter aged filet mignon. This is desirable because what you are about to see next is not. After four years and 48 hours defrosting, here's the four year old butter dry age filet mignon. And as you can see, it looks like you went through a fight. Not only does it not look very appetizing, surprisingly, there is no smell whatsoever. It's neither good or bad. The looks, on the other hand, is just something impressive. However, I'm actually excited to find out what is it gonna taste like. So I went ahead and started removing the butter. And that was pretty simple. And the butcher's twine did its job. But you can clearly see we got a good amount of oxidation. That did not happen on the first time it was dry aged. And one of the things I always say whenever you dry aging any steak, you must remove the outer pellicle. That's the outer part that must go. Because once I was done with all of the trimming, this is the world's first four years butter dry age filet mignon. I don't think I have to tell you, do not try this at home, as this is not what meat is supposed to look like. And my guys are really picky. And to make sure that they do not punch me on the face, I went ahead and made an incredible side dish for us today. And this one is super tasty. And to make it, it is super easy. And here's how. The first thing to do is to go ahead and wash the potatoes. Once that's done, I went ahead and encased them in aluminum foil and into the oven it goes for an hour and a half at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. As that was happening, I went ahead and cooked up some bacon. Once done, I strain the fat and reserve the meat. Because we all know bacon makes everything better. Talking about that, by this time the potatoes were fully baked. Then using gloves, because this is extremely hot, I went ahead and cut out the edges. We're making something that it's called potato skins. And in order to do that, I gotta get rid of the middle. However, do not discard this because it makes incredible mashed potato. Once that was done, I went ahead and seasoned it with salt and pepper followed by a good amount of sour cream, a few tablespoons of mozzarella cheese, and a good amount of that bacon bits we just made. Now into the oven it goes for about 20 minutes. Once the time is up, I took it out, added a little bit of green onions just for coloring. Now this is good just like this. But if you want to take it to another level, just add some more sour cream right on top. Now I can tell you one thing, this is going to be delicious and I'm pretty sure my guys are going to love it. However, I cannot say the same thing about today's experiment. Because take a look at these steaks. We now have a fresh filet mignon which will be our control, the one month dry age and the four years. I'm pretty sure they're all going to taste very different and I cannot wait to find out. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and get them seasoned. For that, I kept it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper, that's it. Today, I won't even be using garlic powder. Now here's the most interesting 
interesting thing for me. The control whenever I was holding on my hand felt pretty normal. The one month dry age one felt extremely tender. However, the four years one, the tenderness was just out of this world. I thought I was holding a pillow. So that got me super pumped. Hopefully the taste is going to be incredible because we're about to find out right now as the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. First, I'll be putting a nice beautiful sear to get a good crust. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steak. So let's do it. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful steak and an incredible side dish. And it's your favorite. This looks good. Filet mignon, boy. I'm just gonna let Angel do all the talking because I know this is his favorite cut of steak and he's gonna be the description guy of this video. I'm the description guy today. Well, you guys might just punch me in the face by the end of this video today, so don't put your hopes up too much, alright? <laughs> so here's the deal. This video is very, very experimental, alright? And I really want your honest opinion because this was done by accident, all right? I'm not sure if I should be more scared of your intentional experiments or this accidental one. You should definitely be scared of this one. Yeah, because I am <laughs> oh scared. Oh my God. Let's say, enough talking, let's give it a go. We're gonna go this direction. Angel, please dig in. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. What happened? Mmm. <laughs> I was scared. Um, you should I be. I was scared. But this is tasting freaking amazing. Absolutely delicious. 100% agree. This steak is so tender, it almost tastes like it was sous vide. Extremely tender, Filet very mignon, tasty. Baby. Isn't it good? Oh, you're about to be done. Filet mignon, baby. Nothing different? Nothing weird? Feels normal. <laughs> good. Very good. That's the control. That's the baseline. Let's see if it goes up or down from here. You ready? Mm -hmm. Please dig in. Come on, Angel. I mean. Hey, hey Greens, I'm going now. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell That's what Angel mean? sounds like in my head. Give me your honest opinion on this second one right here. Smell it first. <laughs> oh, no way, oh, bro. Man. No way, bro. It smells funky. <laughs> Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ooh, it's a good funk. <laughs> yeah. It's a really good steak. The crust is a lot more pronounced on this one. And you can definitely, like, this one has a lot of funk on it. Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yes, it you does. You don't even have to say dry aged. This is clearly dry aged meat right here. And I gotta say, I don't know if I've tried a dry aged filet mignon, but this is really, really good. I agree 100%. I prefer this one than the control. You? 100%. It, the beef flavor got amplified a lot. The control is way more juicy. The one in the center is more, like, dry, which... Mm. I That's mean, fair. It, it tastes dry aged, so it would make sense if a little dry. Yeah, it's but dry aged, but it's dry aged in butter. Ooh, mm, butter dry aged, yes. But the control is way more juicy. Yeah, but I think that That's the true. flavor of this second one here is. Now let's go for this side dish right here. So these are potato skins. How much butter you put on this? There's no butter at all, as a matter of fact. You messed up. That's <laughs> You missed a golden opportunity. Well, I'm trying to make it healthy, bro. Since when? Because everybody in the comments keeps saying that you guys, both of you are jacked. I like these viewers. <laughs> I like these viewers. <laughs> Giving me compliments, I like them. I know, right? I like them. Is Leo looking jacked? Enough talking, let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just do yeah. that? Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Huh? <laughs> 10 out of 10 will highly recommend. Ooh. I give you a 9 out of 10. Why? So you put green stuff here for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. Mm. This does not taste healthy. No. <laughs> this tastes freaking delicious. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to say healthy food don't taste good? Facts. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Cheesy, bacony, the sour cream is an extra touch. If you're trying to cut on calories, don't put the sour cream. But however, highly recommend adding the sour cream, everybody. Okay, let's try the last steak, yeah? All, All right. right. Please, I know. Again. This is the experiment. This is the mistake. You already know. See, these guys are getting way too good. Why did you smell it? Google, this smells really weird. <laughs> 
Oh, Why yeah, do you have strange. to smell it, man? What do you? Because I'm trying to get no, that's prepared. strange, Google. That's that strange. smells. That smells weird. Is this okay to eat? Bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Why the hesitation? Yeah. It's a, it's okay to eat. I'm looking at you. Know, no, winking, no, 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 winking at the camera. I don't know if it's gonna taste good, but it's definitely okay to eat it. I will not give you guys anything that is not okay to eat. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Why does it smell like that? <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I think there's a lot of flavor there, but it's not a good flavor. No. You think there's a flavor there? Like I'm saying, it just tastes really bad. It just stayed in my mouth. It's I can't scary. swallow. That's why I threw it away. I'll be back. Wow, that's pretty. Wow, Blah. It almost leaves like a, like a fishy aftertaste in your mouth. Yes. It's really dry. It has a very powerful, funky flavor. Let me explain. That doesn't taste like beef. What happens when you dry age something? It has that flavor, but it doesn't have the flavor of steak. Here's what I will say. It looks like a filet mignon. It grills like a filet mignon. It is more tender than a filet mignon, but it does not taste like filet mignon, everybody. Google, how on earth did you make an accidental experiment? Sometimes you dry age things and you put it on the back of your freezer and then you just keep getting the meat from the front and you forget about the meat on the back. You actually forget about the meat on the back for four years. No. no. And then no. you say, wait a second, we gotta give this a go. All right, so there's a lesson to be learned. You might like a steak today, but you won't like that same steak in four years. Everything has an expiration date, and this one had it. But anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.